In today's video, I'm going to be trying to sort out my water leak in my tank. Ever since I got it, it's had a water leak in the back and in the front. Um, so, what I bought is I bought an ultrasonic leak detector. Uh, I've seen them used before, windscreen companies normally use them to find leaks around windscreens and stuff like that. They're quite good. So, I bought a cheap one, so, you know, it's either spend £30 or £300. I was thinking, yeah, you know, 30 quid in there, it's worth a go. So, yeah, I bought it, but I need to go get some batteries for it. But, yeah, I'll show you it real quick, it's pretty cool. This is it. Basically, what you have is you have uh, you have the earphones which plug into to this, which is the uh, the detector. The battery's in this. You leave this in the car and turned on. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go around all the seals and windows and whatever, and it will make it'll make a tone. And the tone will change when there's a leak, when it detects a leak through the ultrasonic waves, I guess. So yeah. But I need to go get those fucking those like nine volt batteries, the ghetto old school batteries that no one ever used anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna go down to Tesco's real quick and cut myself some fucking batteries. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you where it's leaking from in the tag and the state of it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put the headphones on, we're gonna try and find a fucking leak. Um, I've already changed the rear sight light seals before anyone in the comments says, Oh, it's the rear light seals, I had that on my RS6, bruh. Nah, I changed the light seals for genuine light seals, that's a done. All right, we're back. Uh, I got the batteries. They'll fucking how much were they? Seven pound eighty-eight. Just for these fucking things, mate. These fucking boys. But yeah, right. Let's slap them in the ultrasonic leak detector and get busy. But first, actually, I'm gonna explain to you where it's leaking from and that. I should go have a look at the tape. Prepare yourself because it's not pretty. All right, it's not pretty. Ugh. Okay. This what this what we're greeted with in the back here, yeah. A little foot spire and that. Also, water there. This side's dry, but water does run from this side because I've seen it drip off this wiring harness over here. Okay. Um, so yeah, when I got the car, this was like this. Undid that instantly, snap because it's rusty as fuck. But yeah, that's what we're working with. My plan is, when I sort the leak, I will get this all sorted. I will get the rust removed, treated, and it will all be sprayed. I want to get the whole inside resprayed because it's all a bit like this. All will clean up this like mold, yeah, but like it's just rank, isn't it? So yeah, that's this is the main leak. But I also had another leak. Okay, last time I went, you can't even see it. Last time I went on a on a road trip and it's pissed out rain all day. This was wet, and it's still wet. The floor was wet. So what makes me think it's coming from the fucking strips is that because I think the windscreen is it looks it's original, it's got Honda on it. Bro. Can you see that shit? Oh it's so condensated up in there. Look at this. It's like water everywhere. From the moisture. That's rank. I need to get a dehumidifier. Okay. Now, this is what I mean, this is my problem, I need to get it sorted out ASAP because it's pissing me off and it's like ruining my car, for, like, I feel like I'm ruining my car. Well, it's like moisture and shit, like, look at my seats, man. Can you see this shit? I know it just like rubs off and stuff, but it's just annoying, isn't it? Ugh. Makes me sad. But yeah, let's get the batteries in that thing and get it, see if we can get the thing to fucking work and find out where the leak is, because this needs to be done ASAP. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the windscreen. I'll put it in the front. Can you sit there? On top of the dash. So I'm going to go around the windscreen real quick and see if uh, we've got any leaks around the windscreen. But it's making like a noise at the moment, you see. I'm going to go around here. Cool, this half of the windscreen is good. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. It didn't really work. Well, the, the thing might have worked. I'm a bit skeptical on it, but I went around all the windscreen, both the roof strips, with them off as well. Took the roof strips off. Around the whole tailgate, nothing. Um, so annoying. It's so mouldy in there as well. Well, not so mouldy, like, it's not that bad, but like, it's bad for me because I just don't like seeing it, but. It could all be like, it's easily cleaned up and stuff, but like the inside, the windscreen, like the top corner is like, so condensated up. 
Um, I don't really want to have to get the windscreen removed because once, because let's be honest, you can't remove it without breaking it. So means I have to get a new windscreen. But if that's what I've got to do, I'm actually going to do it because this needs to get done, and I am not letting it defeat me. So what I'm going to do is so I'm like, I'm a class today's a fail. I'm losing daylight at the moment. I haven't eaten lunch yet. It's like three o'clock nearly, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take the seats out, put them indoors, so to prevent them getting mouldy or whatever, because I don't need to use them anyway. So I'm gonna take the seats out and I'm gonna strip the roof line off next week. Um, I might even take the rear door, door cards off as well. We're gonna sort this leak and we're gonna find it, and it's gonna be interesting I guess to see where the hell it's leaking from because it's not the real light seals I change those I told you already I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah subscribe if you want to hang around to see me find this leak because I'm gonna find it